In this example, we're going to explain how to uh, start from a sketch that was provided by a customer, a palette fill sketch, and uh, reproduce that same palette arrangement in Quick Palette Maker. Okay? Sometimes the sketch we receive is not necessarily the most optimal, but it's the one that the customer wants. O optimal in the sense of fitting most amount of uh, boxes per palette. Okay, uh, beside the sketch in which we see the dimensions of the boxes and the dimension of the palette, we uh, know that the the boxes can be I mean the boxes can stretch uh, 30 millimeters, um, 300 millimeters. That would be 30 centimeters beyond the length of the palette. Okay, so we go and run Quick Palette Maker. Here we are, and we're going to start from a new data sheet starting from box. Okay, we're going to enter the dimensions of the box. We have it 725 by 660 by 300. We pr we didn't we weren't pro uh, given the weight, so we just put 10 kilograms. We add the box. Okay, we this box can be placed on its sides. All right, we're going to load a uh, Euro pallet uh, 1,200 by 800. We we can extend beyond the pallet length. 30 centimeters, that would be 300 millimeters. So 300 plus 1,200 is 1,500. And we adjust the maximum height to a value of 1,400. Okay, tools, recalculate. All right, we see that here we get eight, type eight boxes on a pallet. We get a stack of four, which is what we want here. A stack of four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and uh, we just move down and we see different options here. We get 8, 5, 5, 8. Okay, so uh, we know the most optimal palette can fit box 8 boxes, and this one is okay because it it uh, has it stretches uh, 12 centimeters, it would be 120 millimeters beyond the palette length, and this would be a pretty good um, palette arrangement, but the customer wants this, and the customer is always right. So, let's uh, use the palette editor for this purpose, and we're going to convert this uh, arrangement into the box that the con uh, customer wants, the palette that the customer wants. Sorry. So we go to Tools, Layer Editor. Okay, and we're going to keep only one stack. So we're going to drop two boxes from here. Delete, clear. I mean, sorry. The first layer. We go to the second layer. We delete this box too. Clear. Okay. So if we, which we. Change the view, toggle palette view, and we show them all. We'll see what we have two boxes here, and this one of them is going to be used on an, uh, at the front, and the other one's going to be used on the back. So we go to the fourth layer, all right? We change the view again, and again, and we're going to move this box, we're going to slide it, pull it up. And we're going to put it in front. This one we're going to put it right here. And it's going to be a bit out of the window. Let's see if we can rotate it. And we're going to rotate it. You see here the Z axis, the X axis, the axis is remaining is the Y. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to rate it 90 degrees here. Do the same thing here. Okay, now this one came back into the frame. Put it here. This one we get it closer. Let's just try to move these boxes to the, to the side. We can. This is best done if uh, uh, if we just adjust the x value. The x value here is at least 300, and 300 minus the 30 that we will extend it was 270. So we get 270, 270 here, 270. We just we're pressing enter, and we're just moving the boxes. 270. There we go. And let's look for the other box. It's here. Here we go, we can select it, get it closer, all right. And this box here will be zero. Uh, um, well, sorry, it won't be zero, it will be minus 30. Minus 30, okay? And then we'll uh, we'll drop them, okay? So the Z here value, instead of being 714, we're gonna put zero, okay? Z value here, zero. And we got the, bot, the palette we want. But it was 30 on both sides, so uh, we can move this a bit to the Right, all the boxes will be moved a bit to the right. So we have X here, just move it a bit more. And here we're gonna just put a bit more here to the right. Here it's 300. 
sorry, it's no 285, sorry, which is plus 15, 285, 285, 285, 285. Okay, and here it's minus should be minus 15, minus 15. There we go, and we get this closer. There we go, and this should be about 945, 945 I think. Nine, sorry, nine, four five. There we go, and we go. We can change the view. See how it looks. There we go, we just organize boxes, and the boxes are set, and we're done. There we go, we have our <laughs> our, uh, our palette arrangement, and it looks a bit different than what the, what the diagram says, but it's a good thing for them to see it at scale, and see if they actually like it. Okay. We use a detailed report, and there we go. We click on the, we click on the box drawing to see a different size. There we go.